There's a chaos out here. Holy shit. Buckle up. This video is about to get so much fun. Ah! Here we go. No way in the world. Oh, yeah. Trophy. Ooh. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to another slob chasing session. If you guys watched the last episode, we were out chasing mackerel and we failed miserably. So guess what? It is time to go again, but this time, wait, right, this time we got some, we got a good luck charm. Look, Papa Field Day is in the house. Morning, doggies. We've got Papa Field Day on this adventure. We've also, we've got the tinny. So we're gonna see if we can pick up some mackerel trolling lures, trolling baits with the boat. It is a hell of a sunrise right now. Let's go. Wrap your eyes around the colours that are going on right now. It is a crazy morning. Let's go, Papa Field Day. Your name isn't gonna be Papa Field Day for long, mate. You're gonna be Grandpapa Field Day. <laughs> what we're gonna be running is, we're run, running this lure, which is a deep diving lure. So we're gonna be fishing sort of the bottom half of the water column. This rod, we're gonna be dragging an unweighted gar along the top of the water. So we're gonna be dragging a bait. So we're fishing the very, very top of the water column. And then we're gonna be running these two, two meter diving Halco lures which are obviously sort of your mid water. So we've got bottom, mid, and top. We should be able to get a fish on the deck, hopefully. Yeah, papa! Oh, you're getting smoked. Yeah, doggy. Huh? Get him up, get him up, get him up. I'll get these rods in. Oh my God, oh, that, thing is, is that thing is giving you curry. All right. I've got to swim it towards me. Oh, I don't have any. Don't have no, no, he's there. Look, he's under the birds. He's swimming towards you. Go, 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 go. Papa Field Day's on, doggies. I'm gonna get these rods in because it's gonna be chaos on this little boat in about five minutes. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Fish on. This thing's giving the old boy curry. Oh, it's a mackie, I can see it. Good fish, good fish. I'd have seen it down there. It is a mackerel, can confirm. That's what we come for. All right, we got a hook in him. Yeah! Papa! Yeah, man! Oh. Alright, he's gonna go spastic. No! <laughs> That's the shit! This is the fish that we've been trying to chase. That is a filthy Spanish mackerel. Caught on the old Pen 850. Yeah, look at those teeth. Those teeth are razor sharp, man. You don't want to be putting your finger anywhere near those things. That's a good fish. Straight on the ice. Ah! All right, we got fish on here. We got a hundred rods in the water. Did that just get hit? Yeah, I reckon it hit. All right, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh no! Oh, shit. I've got your lure hey, here. Yours yeah, bring yours in, brass, because we're gonna have a big issue here. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. He's coming straight for me. Go on, boss. Hey! Doggy, hey, 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 hey! Get him in the boat, mate! Oh. Hey, boy, that is the shit right there. These are the fish that we've been coming for. That right there is a Spanish mackerel. Sick fish. This is what I was trying to get last episode. Couldn't get him on the balloons. We've brought the tinny out. We're slaying. We've got two right now. Beautiful fish. These things have got razor, razor sharp teeth right there. But dude. I'm frothing. I've been losing sleep over these fish. Hey, right, don't forget, if you guys want to get your merch, you can wear these like super soft sort of surf hats. They're on the online shop. Also, we've got these bad boys coming back into stock. The FDYS fishing shirt hoodies. You guys know what to do. Fieldayshop.com. Jump on, jump in over there and get yourself some merch. These hats are actually really, really good. Lightweight, soft, epic. All right, we've been cruising for a little bit now. Not really too much action. We've got two beautiful ones on the deck, but been cruising for a bit, sipping back on coffees. It is a dream boat day out here. Look at that. Oh! Oh, Matt's on! Ah, we're on 
again. We've been driving for a little while. We just come in front of the cliffs here and this one's just got pumped. Oh, Mamma mia! Ah. Hey, Arthur. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Here we go. There is another one for the morning. Beautiful fish. This thing just gave me absolute curry. That was putting up a hell of a fight. Here's another good one. Beautiful chewer. Man, these fish are so good. I love catching these fish. Oh. Go, 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 go. He's on, he's on, ah. he's on. You're kidding me. That's fish again, dude. Like three minutes since we got the last one. Oh, big dog. That wind has come in and it is howling. We've got four good Mackies on the deck right now, but uh, we're getting absolutely flogged out in this little tinny. There's waves coming over the bow of the boat. We're getting soaked. We've still got rods out, we're still trying. But we're, at, we're getting a flogging right now. The wind has fully come in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. On this bloody lure again. Oh, you're on as well. Double hook. Oh, oh. We got double hook up. Just a chaos out here. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. Is that here, right? I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude damn holy shit oh now that rod's going <laughs> this is absolute chaos out here right now this holy moly man could still be on oh my I god i think he's full of coming to yes hand line it in Oi. Papa Field Day is hand lighting braid. You're gonna cut your fingers oh, no, off, dude. No, I'm gonna be oh, he's got a mackerel on the end of this line. It snapped him off. Oh, I can see the fish down here. He's a good. He looks like a good fish. So All right, good. I'm gonna gaff it as soon as you bring him up. I can't believe you're hand lining oh, braid. Here we go. Here we go. Where is it? Oh. There. Come on, bring him up. I don't just want to cut my hands. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, he's a good fish. You're hand lining braid, dude. This is hectic. Get ready. No, oh shit. Oh, are oh, you slicing your fingers to yeah, pieces right now? That one's gonna get cut in a minute. Got him. Oh. No yes. way, dude. Oh. No way in the world. Oh. Oh. Hold that thing up, dude, right now. You just caught that on a handline braid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That was chaos. <laughs> That is absolute chaos. Dude. <laughs> 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 me. No way. That is chaos. I can't believe you just you just hand lined that in. Boy, that's the shit right there. Oh Jesus. That is chaos. That is a good fish, dude. That is a good fish. Have a look at the chaos in this boat right now. Look at this. I can't believe. If you guys don't know what braid is, braid is an extremely strong fishing line and it, when you put tension on it, it can easily cut your skin. Old Papa Field Day just reckons, I'm getting this fish in and just starts hand lighting braid. What happened was this braid got stuck around this heavy line and snapped off, but it actually got caught up on the heavy line and then Dude, we got it done anyway. That's a bloody cracker. Oh, well, there it is. We're gonna stop fishing now. We have got a heap of fish. We've got enough fish to fill the freezer for a little while. So uh, we're heading back in. It is bloody rough out here. It probably doesn't look like it, but we're getting flogged around. That's it, all the rods are in. We're gonna punch back in very slowly. She's bloody rough out here. All right, here we go. We are back on dry land. We just got a flogging coming in. Papa Field Day, making a couple of coffees down here. Oh yeah, gotta have it. So we're, we're necking a couple of coffees, pumping up the tires on the troopy, sorting our shit out in the boat because there is stuff absolutely everywhere. That was a haggard ride in. We're sitting there going, grush, grush, doing like five knots the whole way back. It was an absolute journey. But I want to show you guys the fish we got because we did all right. 
considering last week we got absolutely zero, this week we did it right. So here's the efforts for the day. We got six Spanish mackerel. These are a beautiful eating fish. Look at these things. Not a bloody bad fish at all. They come a lot bigger than these things. You get some absolute slobs out there, but we're going to put them on the scale. They're all about the same size. We're going to weigh them and see where they go, but we ended up getting three each, which is perfect because we both don't have any fish in the freezer. So these are going to be a couple of freezer fillers here. Let's chuck one on the scales and see what they weigh in at. What are you calling it, Papa Field Day? I'm calling it 9.5. 9.5, I'm saying eight kilo. These aren't massive mackerel, by the way. These are actually small, they're quite small, but we had a hell of a time catching them. There he is, he's on the scale. You're joking. 9.5 on the money. No way. Yeah, 9.5. It's only a guess. So they're all about 9.5 kilo, but there's a whole lot of meat in there. We're gonna have a hell feed. All right, we're gonna neck, neck a couple of coffees. Pack the boat up. Ah, I'm gonna head back to Mac 10 and see how she's going. So uh, I'll see you guys when I see you next. Much love. Ow! Doggies! Welcome. Welcome to the field day homestead. It's been a minute since we've filmed a little bit of footage at home. So we're back home. We've got a couple of filthy mackerel to fill it up. What a better place to do it than in the backyard with the fruit trees. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill it up this mackerel. We've got three mackerel to fill it. Papa Field Day took three home. I kept three for myself. So we've got a lot of fish and this fish is gonna go around to a lot of different people and families. These two fins, one and two, we're gonna get rid of these fins. Just come in here with a real sharp knife. Get rid of that section. Get rid of that one. Pop it in there. Get rid of that fin. Get rid of that bit there. What I like to do now, flip the fish over, find the fish's butthole. So the butthole's right there. What you wanna do, you wanna come a finger or two fingers above the butthole, like this. We're gonna make a cut straight down, down like this, down like this. We're gonna roll the fish over, cutting the fish into two pieces, just like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna find a spine down here. You wanna pop that spine, Sometimes you can get a knife in there. Get him open, we're gonna cut the fish in half. We're gonna do two different things. This is how I do every mackerel, it is the best way. Take two fingers, lay two fingers on top of the fish like this. That's your mark. We're gonna cut big, dirty steaks out of this fish. Make sure you put it an incision on each side. Follow it down so it's an even line. Just like this. Try to pop that spine again. Can get through him just like that. We've got a mackerel steak, so that is a beautiful steak of mackerel. It's about two fingers thick. Put that thing on the barbecue. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna have a hell of a feed. So, half of the fish, we're gonna do beautiful mackerel steaks like that. All right, so down here, we've got eight steaks off the back of that mackerel. Now, what you're left with, you're left with this mackerel tail. There's still a bit of grub left on that. What we do is come behind that knuckle there. Just gonna cut him, spin him around. Obviously, we don't like wasting any fish. So you're gonna cut either side of there. Same on this side. Cut either side. And then you're just gonna fill it him up. Fill it him down. And you're left with these beautiful little fish bites. And just like that there, you got a big trophy. So what, you, what we usually do with these, we dry them out. We hang them on the gate at the front of the property. There's about 50 of these things hanging around this house right now, but a big old fishtail like that was when it's dried out, it looks killer. So we'll chuck that over there. So the top half of the fish, I'll just fill it like any normal fish. Up behind that petrol fin, right in behind the head there. Chase it down the back. So that's one half of half of the fish. That's the shoulder of that mackerel there. We've got the two beautiful shoulders. So these bits of fish here we usually use for like fish wraps, fish burgers and stuff like that. So we'll chuck that in here because these flies are so hectic right now. We're gonna chuck it on the tray, get a rag back on top because the flies are going crazy. I'm just gonna do exactly the same to this big old fillet here. So this is what we're left with now, a fish head and a fish frame guts but we're not over yet what you get here down here 
is the belly flap. So you can just hold the head and sort of rip that belly flap away. Cut that bit of meat out. That there is some of the best fishing bait going. Mackerel belly flap. So we always keep that. We're gonna chuck that over there. That's gonna go in the freezer. We'll bag it up. Very, very good snapper bait. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up behind the head, get your knife, and just pop that spine. Pull that away from the fish. Clean this little bit of membrane away. And then this is a very, very good bit of food on a barbecue. So I purposely left a little bit of meat on there. What we do is season it up, get a heap of olive oil season on it, chuck it on a barbecue, on the grill specifically, let it, let it cook and then just get a fork and drag the meat off the bone. And that is beautiful. So we're gonna be doing that later on this Arvo. Chuck that over there. Also, tomorrow, don't go anywhere because we're getting the rifles. We're going shooting again. You guys love that shooting video so much. So I'm taking you guys on another shooting adventure. I'm gonna have a feed of fish this Arvo. So don't go anywhere on this video. But that is one mackerel completely cleaned up. That's how I do my mackerel every single time. As you can see, this is the wastage. You've got a fish head. And this is all the wastage we've got down here. All right, my doggies. Oi, it is time to cook a feed and I thought, We've never actually cooked a feed at my place. So welcome to the Field Day Palace. We're gonna cook a hell of a feed. We're actually gonna cook up that mackerel. We've got two of those big mackerel chunks of steak right there here. Olive oil, chili, fresh lemongrass out of our garden, garlic, and um, a heap of lemon, fresh lemon off the lemon tree. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this mixture and we're just gonna dance one side of the fish. Give it a good drowning with this lemon olive oil mixture. Just like this, don't be shy. Flap it, oil down. Big Mackie steak, oil down. And then we're gonna oil the top of them as well. This is real food. This is, food doesn't get better than this. All right, I'm gonna let them sit there. I'm gonna turn that heat down to low. This right here has gotta be my favorite time of the day. Early mornings and sunsets like this. I don't know, it does something to the soul, man. We've got the chickens eating grass out the front there. We've got the goats in the background running amok and having a hell time. With a little bit of fresh mackerel cooking in the barbecue. We've got Mac 10 out the back there in the veggie patch. She's doing the watering of the garden. Dude, love it. What's going on here? Look at her, she just feeds her pet chicken. For those people who are new to the channel, this is our little home base between traveling. Here's a chicken coop that we built a little while ago. This is where the chickens come. We're getting, we're pump, they're, man, they're pumping out six eggs a day right now. Aren't you women? These chickens are that good. Hey, look at them all. They're pumping out the eggs. And I've been getting bombarded on Instagram with people asking me, do we still have Bowie the goat? Yes, we do. Again, for the people who are new, 11 months ago, I found a baby goat in the bush. And I was on a fishing adventure, I heard it screaming. It was a tiny little baby goat. It fit in the palm of my hand. I brought the goat home, Mac-10 fell in love with it. We ended up keeping it. We got a second goat called Bob. So we got Bowie and Bob, the goats, and they live in this massive goat enclosure, which we built here. And here they are here, look at them come running up, man. These are the best animals you will ever, ever get. This is Bob. He's not the goat that I found. He's just one that we picked up off a farm because they need friends. So this is Bobby, the, the one I found. We'll jump in and have a play with him. He's grown up so much. For the OG Field Day fam, Bowie's getting real big. Show you the game that they play, ready? Get up, get up, get up. Oi. Don't push him. Don't you dare push him. Ready, he's gonna push him off. Look at that, it's Bowie. Don't do it, I told you he was gonna do that, man. Come on, here. This is the game he plays. Don't do it, don't do it. You beautiful boy. This is a cubby house we built for the goats. It's still going strong, look at it. This is where they sleep. This is where they hang out all day. Hey, buddy. What do you reckon, Bob? <laughs> Go, Bowie! Go, Bowie!
You boys are crazy. Crazy. Crazy, buddy. What are you doing? You're a turbo. Turbo go. Good boys. All right. Dad's food's ready. I'm going back. See you later. See you, mate. Crazy boys. Look at that. That is a feed if you've ever seen one. That's dinner. Massive, massive mackerel steak. Cooked to perfection. Look at that white meat, man. You're joking. Get ready, strap up, buckle up. This video is about to get so much fun. We are out in the bush again. I've got a car full of rifles. We're going hunting. We're gonna go gather a little bit of food off the land. Dude, look at this. That sun's just set. This is my favorite time of the day. There's no sun in the sky. Colors are off their heads. Flies are about to disappear into the night. Animals are gonna come out into the night and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun tonight. Basically what we're doing in this now in this episode is I wanna get myself a feed, either a pig or a rabbit, one of the two. But also what we need to do is we need to hook the boys up. I've got a very good mate who's going away. We're doing him a little bit of a going away party and the boys have requested a big old pig to put on the spit. So that is the challenge in front of us tonight. This here is the path that goes all the way down. All of those little holes are animal footprints and it just disappears down there, all the way down there into the bush. What the, what the animals do, or the pigs do mainly, they come up from the bush during the day, they follow these tracks up and then they come into these open paddocks and eat all the stubble. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up a, set up a camera just on this fence line, see if we can pick up any pigs coming through. It is go time. That sun has completely set. It is pitch black outside right now. What we got going on is, I've got a rifle sitting on my lap, just sitting here, poking it out the window. We're cruising at like first gear, just crawling speed. I've got a torch on the dash here. We're just putting that torch out the window. We're spotting for animals. As Soon as we see our desired feast, we're gonna jump out, we're gonna chase it, we're gonna shoot at it, we're gonna do whatever we can to get a feed on the deck. I'm gonna slowly start creeping around. There might be a little bit of ground that I wanna walk on foot tonight. We're gonna to have a massive night. Like, we're gonna be here for the next couple of hours, probably a sleepless night, but I reckon we're gonna get it done. We'll get some, some sort of a feed on the deck. So, camera's going on my head. Let's see if we can get ourselves a bit of grub on the table, eh? All right, we got rabbits. We got rabbits, we got rabbit, we got rabbit. No way. Couldn't have disappeared, man. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Come back, come back, come back. No. No, it's gone around the side of that bush. You're joking. <coughs> Oi, you are never, you are never ever gonna believe what just happened just then. I'm driving down the side of the paddock here. I just bop, I just bumped a mob of pigs. A little mob of pigs were sitting on the fence line. They ran into the bush, which is on the, my right hand side over here. What I'm gonna do is I've turned the car off. I've just completely shut the whole car off right where it, where it happened. I've just turned the car off. This right here is a monocular. I can actually, this is a thermal monocular. I can see in the night. The issue with this thing is this is like an entry level monocular. My friend borrowed me this. It, it allows me to actually see heat sources in the night so if i can find those pigs in the bush over here this is going to pick them up what i'm going to do is i'm going to get get the big rifle 
I'm going to walk into the bush where the pigs ran in the direction they ran. It's perfect, man. The wind is straight in my face. Everything is in our odds. Everything is working for us right now. I'm going to use this monocular. Unfortunately, I can't film what this monocular sees, but I will be able to pick up pigs with this. So I'm going to walk through the bush that way. I'm going to grab the rifle. Let's start heading that way. This is it. All right. This is what's happening right now. I've been walking through the bush for about 15 to 20 minutes. We've got three pigs down the bottom of this hill on the back of a scrubby bush. There's two big pigs. No, sorry, there's two small pigs and what looks like one big pig. I'm just going to hit them with the light and just take shots. There's nothing else we can do right now, but we've got three pigs down here. Ready, set, let's go. There, small pig to the left. Small pig, small pig. Oh, you, oh, come on, come on, come back. Where's that? There's a second pig there, man. There's a second pig there. Is that it there? Oh, there's a pig in the grass. Pig in the grass. Is that a, it's a pig. Oh, yes. One down, one down. Small pig to the right, small pig to the right. Far, 150, 100, mate. Gone. Yes, we got one out of the three. That is so hectic. I'm just going to claim this on a little bit of ass right now. Three pigs in the scrub. Two of them ran off. It's like this, this is what they're sitting in. It's like this sort of scrubby, sort of knee high grass. So it's very, very hard to see them. Two ran off. One just bunkered down. Obviously when I shot, it just got scared and just went straight down like that. And I just, it perfect man, straight behind the ear. Good night, Irene. That thing is going straight on the barbecue for the boys. Oi, not even kidding. Two little pigs ran away. I got the bigger one of the three. He just bunkered straight down in the grass. He had nowhere to go. I think that, that second shot must have scared him and he just went straight down. Here he is. He's gonna kick a little bit of sand over him there. A little bit of blood, but there he is. That is straight behind the ear. Look at that thing. That is what we come out for. Like I said in the last episode, these things wreak havoc on the farmer's properties. They're no good, but look at that straight behind the ear. That was a long shot, dude. He was sitting behind this bush and all, that one pig ran that way. The other pig ran over there. That was small pigs. This one's a bigger, it looked a lot bigger in that monocular, but uh, he's a good pig, man. That's good. Thank you, I love you. Here we go. I've got a, uh, probably about a 50 kilo pig on my shoulders right now. And I am steaming through the bush back to the car. So uh, I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me, doggies. I will see you guys on the flip side when I get back up to the car. We'll start sorting out this pig. Dude, this thing's heavy, man. <sighs> All right, let's go. We are back in the trooby and we've had a little bit of a shower. I had pig all over me from carrying that pig back to the car. We got it in the back of the car, we got it on ice, and um, we've had a little bit of a change in the plans right now. What I'm doing is I'm actually boosting back home. The time right now is 2 is 2 16 in the morning. And um, I've had a message from Mac 10 at 1.30 when I was walking that pig back to the car. Mac 10 sent me a message and she's actually walking around the kitchen right now with some mad stomach cramps going on. So um, if you guys are new to the channel, Mac 10 is my girlfriend. She is 39 weeks pregnant right now. We're about to have a baby and I'm out here shooting pigs and she's at home walking around the kitchen with some mad stomach cramps going on. So uh, I'm pulling the pin on this mission and I'm going home to my woman. That's what I'm doing right now. We got a pig in the back of the car, and uh, we had a, I had a bloody good night. That was a fun night. It was pretty quiet, but we did end up getting the one pig. But right now, I'm going home to my chick and seeing if she's all good. So I'll see. You. I'm going to catch up with you guys soon. I'll, let, I'll keep you guys posted on what happens with Mac 10. But that's the, that's the plan, doggies. I'm going home. I'm going home to Mac 10, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. All right. Much love. So. Oh. Have a go at that sunrise. I, I have had a massive, massive night slash morning. I'm back home right now, and uh, a couple of things have changed. If I look like a bash crab, it's probably because I feel like one. I have had not had one wink of sleep yet 
It is just about to go seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is about to rise again. And uh, dude, I had a massive night last night. We carried a pig through the bush on my back. I've come home, I've had a shower. Mac 10's inside, she said she doesn't feel right. So hey, today could be the day the baby comes. She reckons that she's getting stomach cramps and lower back pains and stuff like that. So she's inside right now. I've just got a coffee, I'm trying to stay awake. I don't even have a baby yet, man. I'm not even getting any sleep. Hey, This is one of my favorite places to have a coffee in the morning. Out in the fruit trees, the sound of the water on the sprinklers, the birds flying around chirping. It is, it is a bloody beautiful way to start a day. But that's not why we're here. The reason that I'm sitting here right now is I want to thank you guys for all the love, support, all the messages that I've been getting with, like, due to the baby coming. You guys are absolutely bloody legends. We're getting bombarded with people just saying, like, best of luck, is it here yet? I wish you well. Like, thank you guys so much for all the support. We absolutely love it and we adore you guys. A field day fam. Oh, without you guys, I don't even know where I'd be in life, eh, hey, honestly. I love doing these videos. I love you guys to pieces, but look, this video that we're making right now is probably gonna be my last video until the baby's born. I don't wanna be away from Mac 10 anymore. It sort of doesn't feel right when I'm out in the bush shooting pigs and away from her on the boats and stuff, and she's home alone walking around with stomach cramps and back pains and stuff like that. So this is gonna be the last video until the baby's born. Once the baby's born, oh my God, lock yourselves in, strap yourselves up, because these videos are gonna get mad. We're gonna start traveling as a family, not only around Australia, but we're gonna start traveling worldwide again, going back to Indo, going back to places we've always wanted to go. So there's massive things coming for the channel in the future, but for now, this is the last video until the baby's born. So thank you guys, that was a banging episode. We've got a heap of fish, we've got a big old dirty pig at the end, and uh, that's what life's all about, man. Living off the land, eating real clean food, drinking good coffee, and hanging out with the Field Day fam. But for now, man, this is the last video for a little while. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I love you guys so much. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you bang that subscribe button because look, we're going ham. There's gonna be some crazy videos coming up once baby's here. And uh, if you guys wanna keep up to date, if I don't post for a couple of weeks or whatever it is, follow me on for Instagram. I'll keep doing updates over there. But for now, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be a dad and I'm absolutely frothing for it. I'm already sleep deprived. I'm losing my voice. I've got a massive pig to clean. And uh, dude, life can't get any better, really. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. Thank you, doggies, thank you. Ow! Hey! <laughs> Oi! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> That's what you get for being a little vlogger on your phone. <laughs> A little vlogger. Sucker! Nah, it's just um, treasure hunting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay out of your way. No, you gotta stay there because you're part of the f***ing video, alright? Ah, oh, so what am I gonna do? <laughs> Run around naked and I'm gonna talk. <laughs> what we're gonna do with this fish is we're gonna fill it at the fill it at the fill it. Alright, there's bloody full. Speak English, you f One, two, three, go. Speak English. Blah, blah, blah. We've got a line of trees along the front of this fence or along the. Can speak English! Alright, here we go, we're talking off oh, for f babe. Why can't I speak? I'm just about to buy. You gotta. What's the name of that file? Oh, you fing idiot. I can't speak. I'm losing my fing mind. Righto, if you guys can stop saying righto. Fing hell. You know what time it is? Don't start like that. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. <laughs> Dude, we just had the most epic drone collision. I'm trying to drive the car with one knee, steer with one hand, fly the drone with one finger. I'm like hacking down the track and I've just seen this tree here come out of nowhere. I wasn't looking up, I was looking at the screen and the, tr the drone just went full speed straight into that tree right there. Just smoked the drone. I don't even know if it works. I'm not even gonna bother trying right now. It is way too dark out here, but uh, we just crashed another drone. <laughs>